good to hear tennis getting back on track and starting off the spring season with, with competitive matches. But you know, women's hockey is just starting to find their groove and just at the right time. They're moving up in the ECAC rankings, looking for a playoff spot, and this past weekend traveled to Quinnipiac and Princeton, and they look damn good. Take a look. Early on, and QPAC was looking good in their nice new rink. But no problem here for Siobhan Zillis. She was Zillorific, my new favorite word. Then Yale turned the tables. May the Schwartz be with you. Freshman Mandy Schwartz fires one that's deflected away. First period was anyone's game. With just three minutes left to go, and the Bobcats, Trudy Reigns, makes it rain. Beating Zillis to the right to give QBAC a 1 0 lead at the first break. Second period was all Bobcats as Natasha Pellat finding her way into the net on the power play as QPAC goes up 2 0 over the Bulldogs. Yale trying to get back in it. Welcome back, Helen Rezor. She's getting circles around the defense, but is denied on the breakaway. Good to have the Olympian back, though, after six games. Then it's our German national star, Denise Stoicillo. A little ice dancing here. But QPAC's Janelle Wolitsky will have none of it. Third period, Yale took over. Sheila Zingo gets a good look, but Wolitsky was a wall. Until finally, nine and a half minutes in, and Re Helen Rezor sends it in toward Jenna Spring, who says, That's it! And it's a one goal game all of a sudden. Now, time winding down, and Yale the empty net. And with 11 seconds left, it's Christy bringing down the Hauser as the sophomore scores to tie it. OT would yield no goals, but the Eli's come out with a point thanks to Hauser's heroics. So Yale takes advantage of a dominant third period in which they outshot the Bobcats 11-2 to earn a much coveted point in the standings. The Eli's happy to have a healthy Helen Resort back in the lineup after coming out with a mediocre record in the six games she missed. Yale would hope to use the momentum from Hamden on Saturday as they further try to solidify a spot in the conference playoffs when they travel to Princeton for another ECAC matchup. At the beginning of a wild first period, it's Yale threatening early with Manny Schwartz right in front. But Christy Young is there to make the save. Middle of the period, and after the initial shot from Sheila Zingler, it's Kristen Savard battling and winning the puck battle in front and scooting the puck in for her eighth of the year as Yale takes the early 1-0 lead. But just 14 seconds later at the other end, it's Princeton's Stephanie Danino with the fadeaway shot that beats Zillis as Yale barely has time to save the lead here. Reagan Gilbride, though, can take care of that. Always a bridesmaid, never a Gilbride, as the senior defender scores her first goal of the year and just the third of her career. Now, Princeton won't score 14 seconds later again, will they? Nope, this time it's Yale. Before you can go and get popcorn, it's Christina Sharon finding the net with just, at just 23 seconds later, and it's 3 to 1 Yale. Just over a minute later, and the circus continues. Princeton's Annie Greenwin takes a nice feed from Oakley, and the old Annie Oakley combo makes it 3 2 as the teams head into the locker room for a much needed rest. Second period, and don't look away because just 29 seconds in, and it's the Tigers, Kim Pierce, persisting in front as the puck slides through Zillis, and this game is all tied up. Alright, this time you stay put in your seat. Good job, because just under two minutes later, the puck pops out, and Zingler is there to find it. Her 13th goal of the season gives Gale a 4 3 lead that will last the rest of the back and forth second frame. Early third period, and look at the anticipation here by Soasillo on the pass. She turns the steal into a breakaway, and she doesn't miss from there. Yale up 5-3, but would a two-goal lead last in this crazy game? The Elis keep Princeton in check, and with under two minutes to go, it's Denise Soasillo sending the long-distance shot into the empty net. And after an insane night in which almost 20% of the shots went for goals, Yale wraps it up with the 6-3 victory. Yale continues tearing it up as they remain undefeated in 10 of their last 12 games thanks to a big third period from Soasillo who has picked up her scoring since the turn of the calendar and the unstoppable Sheila Zingler who is now tied for the team lead with 28 points after picking up three more in Saturday's win. So the team really starting to look really good right now, moving up in the ECAC, have themselves a playoff spot right now the season ending today. And you know what, this weekend they got two of the worst teams of the conference coming in town to play at Ingles, Union and RPI. Should be two more wins in the books hopefully. Yeah, and it's really great to see Helen Resort back. It should give the ladies a boost right at the perfect time. Oh, yeah, six games without their Olympia. I mean, it's always tough. They went 2-3-1 and one without her. Having her back is definitely huge. But you know what? Right now, this team is looking great on offense. Sheila Zingler is just a score, an offensive machine. Christy Hauser looking better every day. And also, you know, we can't talk, can't, can't talk enough about this, this defense, too. Reagan Gilbride had a goal this weekend. 
great veteran to have on the team. And Barrett Johnson, she might be one of the best rookies in the conference right now. Yeah, it should be an interesting weekend ahead as, you know, hopefully we'll be able to win those games. Women's Gymnastics finished third place overall last weekend. Alina Lau finished second place in the all-round competition, and Mickey Seltzer finished first in her floor routine. This weekend, Yale will host Southern Connecticut State. Good to see the gymnastics team getting off to a decent start. That was a tough meet, and they should be doing pretty well this weekend with SCSU. But you know what? Another team um, that's coming in some big competitions right now are Yale's fencing teams. Uh, with Ivy, Ivy competitions coming up next week, or this weekend rather, the teams traveled to Vassar to take on, take on a few teams in their last dual meet before the Ivies. The men's looked really good, avenging last year's loss to Vassar and winning 16-11 to this time around. They also defeated the U.S. Military Academy 16-11 and destroyed Maris by a final score 23-4. On the women's side, they, they won both their matches, uh, both their meets by a score of 18-9 and also defeated Maris by a perfect score of 27-0. First time in over three seasons they pulled off the perfect victory. This weekend, they'll, be, they'll both be heading out um, to, face in, to face off in the Ivy South competition. The men's will, will always look to their FA squad to lead the way with our great sophomore, Mike Pierce. But it's going to be the Sabre and Foil squad, which will hopefully take us over the top. The women, meanwhile, hope to get consistent performances from Diana Shalowski in the Foil and hope to come out strong in the Ivy competition this year.